Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So today I'm very excited to share with you guys a couple of updates that will be coming to Substance Painter. Probably this might be called Substance Painter 2020.1 or something else depending on the naming convention that they will go with this brand new tool that will be coming. So there is a huge set of updates that you guys definitely need to know about. The very first one which I'll start off with is the automatic UV. So previously we talked about automatic UV, did a whole lot of videos about it and it's really cool to see that they have gotten a huge set of feedback. Honestly it is very very reassuring to see that the guys from Substance are actually taking a lot of this things into consideration so we'll be able to get a brand new recomputing of existing uvs so in case you're working with your uvs and you seem to have you know defined the uv seams and you did not unwrap this you can now unwrap and pack and you can actually just do a simple packing directly in substance so even if you choose not to lay out your stuff or you just do your simple uvs without even you know laying them out you can now get these ones going for you at the same time if you're working with a set of model or you're working with a gigantic model and and you ended up not creating uvs for certain parts of the model substance is going to take care of that as it's going to just simply allow you to focus on the art while it deals with the technicalities and speaking about some other technicality stuff which you like to know about there is a huge improvement when it has to do with the meshes so right now you can easily export your mesh directly from substance as either fvx quads or even ngon conversion depending on what you want to do and it's still going to maintain the same naming and hierarchy conversion depending on what you know tool you're exporting or mesh you're exporting and with mesh exporting still within the pipeline of things we're talking about substance painter 2020.1 would also be coming with a mesh export that can get your displacement and tessellated meshes out of substance so you know how you spend so much time trying to get that perfect displacement or that perfect tessellation of your model directly in substance and maybe once you move over to your dcz app you seem to have issues trying to create displacement that would fit exactly into what you're trying to do this is mostly for anyone that is trying to make things that has to do with 3d printed stuff or maybe you're just trying to get some very nice looking you know displacement out of substance in to your dcc app and get going with that now you can export your mesh with the tessellation which you have created in substance and also with the displacement furthermore this is even way more interesting because you can simply take that mesh and proceed to creating 3d prints with them and you know when you're trying to make some of this stuff you actually need to consider looking at the textures which you're working with and that is why they have also taken their time to revamp the entire texture exporting dialogue the texture menu has now been revamped as it now gives you a set of options which you can work with things that has to do with multi-selection incremental export so in case you're working on a huge set of textures and you just simply make adjustments to just one part and not to the other part it's going to simply figure out what you made changes to and export that incrementally instead of exporting the whole thing all together from beginning there is also going to be overrides that can be done to the whole texture set so if this is what you want to do you can simply override certain part of them and you can also proceed to override the entire thing the textures are also going to be having some sort of updates which has to do with EXR. So EXR is probably going to be coming with the next version of Substance Painter but then they have also made a very tiny disclaimer that the EXR that will be coming you're not going to have multi channels built into it of course you'll be able to export EXR as a file but it's only going to contain one single channel so if you're just working with displacement you're only going to have displacement there not like you're having an EXR that will have some multi channels baked into it so this is also something to keep an open mind about why you simply you know proceed to working with the next version of Substance Painter now speaking of things that would also be coming with a brand new Substance Painter they will also be introducing a very very improved curvature and ambient occlusion map baker now this one has been overhauled as they have you know taken their time to look at the whole thing and if you take a look at the side by side comparison you can tell for sure that the ambient occlusion map and also the curvature map has actually been revamped so they've taken their time to overhaul this and a very cool stuff about this one is it is actually gpu accelerated and not just gpu accelerated it's also so, you know rtx accelerated for anyone who wants to simply you know start getting stuff going and we've seen a huge huge you know move to gpu accelerated stuff 
which is extremely extremely nice and the fact that they are now considering or you know the fact that they are now pushing forward to get a lot of their stuff rtx accelerated it just simply make a lot of sense and i'm extremely excited about the huge development that is coming to substance painter as a tool now still speaking about the huge development coming to substance painter there is also some novelty stuff which you would like to see and these things has to do with decals so you know previously how you get to work with decals is pretty simple you use a projection plane and then you can actually create a fill layer and start making some very interesting stuff this way used to be very very nice and i know a lot of people actually had fun uh working with this but then it wasn't as convenient as it can get if you actually want to see a video on how we made that there's going to be a link in the description that'll take you exactly to the place how you can you know make these decals by yourself but today we're getting some very cool updates that has to do with the brand new decal tool so how this works uh from you know the demos simply looks like there is going to be a material that you can drag directly onto your mesh and and probably create the stack for that then you can proceed to changing you know uh, all of the decals that you want cool stuff there is you can still choose to make your own custom decals and at the same time you can also add up custom decals to the preset versions that might probably be shipping with the brand new version of substance so speaking about udims udims is definitely coming to substance the guys from substance are not giving anything out there is no you know solid confirmation of when but for sure udims is coming trust me as a beta tester Udims is definitely coming. They are saying right now that they're just working hard on it. And yes, of course they are, as there is a whole lot of updates coming to these, a lot of bug reports and you know for now it's not something that is easily broken but for sure this is definitely going to be coming to substance sometime maybe within the next release next two release hopefully but obviously there is udims in the pipeline so with udims out of the way let's talk about scripting right now we are looking at python replacing javascript javascript has been the scripting api that has been used for substance for a very long time and i think substance team is listening to the community and they are dropping javascript and moving over to python so python 3.7 will be the very first python that will be making its first appearance in substance painter with the next release so this is definitely going to make a whole lot of people get things done easy and faster and at the same time they did include the idea that javascript will still be working with substance but there will be no development or updates to the javascript api moving forward so with all of this beautiful improvement and enhancements coming to the next release of substance there are still some very cool stuff that are under research and development some of these things would blow your mind away and with that said let's talk about the very first one that has to do with the wrap tool so the wrap tool which is a brush is a wonderful brush which you can use to wrap textures around your model so if you've ever been in that situation where you simply want to paint across your entire model but you just don't want to spend that time you know painting this thing or filling certain parts or rubbing some mask here and there you can simply use the wrap tool to define certain portions and automatically substance is going to fill this one up now this is also one of the very cool stuff which i am really really expecting to see with this new release although this is not yet confirmed to be coming with the new release of substance but it is definitely going to be very impressive to see this one the next one is the gizmo so the gizmo manipulation is a very wonderful tool that i have always wanted to see in substance this tool would help you transform and manipulate your 3d model so if you want to do some very simple task that has to do with scaling rotating and even translating your tool from one part to another this is definitely going to be awesome although within the teaser release which they just showed it seems to look like there is a pivot that kind of controls how this thing works. if substance is going to have a rigging section i have no idea but this time by simply taking a look at this too there is some sort of you know technology technique you know advanced idea that simply tells where the position of certain things are supposed to be cool to see that this is under the research and development and for them to have teased this it means the tool is close to done and it really makes a lot of sense to see this come over to substance very soon now with this out of the way let's talk about the big elephant in the research lab so the big elephant in the research lab is the paint vr paint vr has been you know rumored over and over and i think this is like the very first time they're being very open with it that the tool is under serious testing and uh they have been working alongside trying to create some stuff 
you know trying to push the boundaries of what and what this tool would look like and what it would do if this tool would come over to the other headset is something i have no idea about right now owing to the fact that they own medium and medium is a sculpting is a vr sculpting tool which you can work with oculus i have no idea if this is going to be put to other you know vr headsets but as it stands now vr for painter is under development and hopefully we would be able to play with this very very soon and when it has to do with plugin there it talks about houdini modo and and also Unreal Engine. I guess these plugins are basically for anyone who wants to play with Substance Designer files and I guess this is also going to be very useful if we can get exactly the same kind of plugin that we have for Maya for both Unreal Engine, Houdini and also you know Modo. So, so many cool stuffs are coming over to Substance this year and we're just very excited to you know get to see that we will be able to play with these tools although due to the present COVID-19 announcement and release dates are currently not confirmed uh, but definitely Substance Painter will be released very soon and if you're very excited about any of these things I would like to know what your thoughts are about them in the comment section and if you're thinking about how you can create your own materials or play with materials you can check out the Substance Alchemist 2.1 video which we just released and you might definitely find something interesting with that and if you're also thinking about how you can get started with substance and we also have a couple of videos in the channel that you can check out and if you're wondering where you can get substance materials substance sources you can go over to substance source so tell me what you guys think about all of this in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace